Hi everyone, my name is Casey McPerry, and recently on my Instagram, I had uploaded a video of um, a sequence shot of skateboarders, and I had gotten a ton of comments asking how I did this effect. I decided to put together a tutorial explaining how I did this. Hopefully this answers a lot of the questions a lot of you guys have, so let's get in it. First, let's go and download the files that I attached. In Skater 1, you can see it's a stationary shot, not moving. In Skateboarder 2, you can see the camera has some movement to it. So I'm going to teach you how to do this effect on both these clips. So let's open up Premiere, drag Skateboarder 1 into the new composition. And what we're going to do is find moments in this clip where we're going to freeze a frame and turn into a PNG. So right about here, I'm going to render this out by hitting I, O, and then Command M, which is going to bring up my render menu, turn this into a JPEG. We're going to save this by adding a new folder, call this freeze frame. We're going to check render at maximum quality and hit export. Right about here, we're going to add another frame. So I, O, Command M, name this one number two and export. And then for the final one, we're going to do at the peak of his trick. So like before, we're going to save this one as number three. Export. Now, once you have all these rendered out into JPEGs, select them all and bring them into Adobe Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, we'll go and unlock the layer, zoom in to the subject, hit P on the keyboard, and this is your pen tool. Now, you're going to take your time. Once done, right click, make selection, hit OK. Now invert by holding Command Shift I and delete. Now let's save this as a PNG file to keep that transparent background. Hit OK. Now back into Premiere, we want to import that PNG file. Bring this file right above the video layer. And we're going to zoom in and at the moment that the video lines up with the PNG, we're then going to cut it and delete the rest of the frame. This way, when the video plays, the moment it hits that cut mark, it continues and he disappears, giving that effect. So we're going to continue these for the next two. I'm going to speed through it. You know, same process, cut out each frame, and then we're going to bring it into Premiere. Now, as you can see, we have all three frames in Premiere. We're going to select the entire video, export it out, H.264. Now, let's name this Skateboard 1 Freeze Frame. Uh, use maximum render quality and let's export now as you can see this is the uh, final effect of course it helps being on a tripod so now let's look at motion let's take skateboarder 2 bring him into a new composition and let's look for that point in the video where we want to freeze them. So I, O, Command M, and let's select JPEG, maximum render quality, 
and save. Export. Now let's take that file, bring it into Photoshop. Like before, unlock the layer, use the pen tool, and mask out your subject. Once selected, let's delete the background, turn it into a transparent. Save it as a PNG. Now back into Premiere, we're going to right click on our clip and replace with After Effects composition. Now it's asked to save, so let's save this as Skateboarder 2. And inside of After Effects, we're going to import that PNG file. We're going to bring that PNG file right above the video composition. Now, as you can see, this doesn't quite work when there's motion. So to fix that, we're going to have to track the video. So let's add a new null object, select the original video file. And let's line it up so that everything looks perfect. Now in your video file, we're going to go over to the right to our tracker panel and select track motion. Let's zoom in and take this track point and find an object that we want to track. This dot is a good reference point. Now, let's hit back on the play button to analyze it. Now let's edit target, select the null object, hit OK, hit apply, and then OK. It has now created keyframes and motion tracked that video clip. So, if we take the PNG file and link it to the null object, it will stay in place, giving the real effect. Now, if you save this, it automatically will update in Premiere. So let's render this out and um, watch them, see what you guys think. As you can see, videos look cool. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, at Casey McPerry, and thanks.